my answer to that would be that I doubt it, but I, the end, I also don't know. Uh, but I don't think, I don't think that the end of the Cold War uh, uh, is something that I would factor into my evaluation of businesses. There, there are all kinds of events that happen, and their impact in terms of being quantified, very difficult to, to figure over time, very difficult to isolate any single variable in a complex economic equation. So uh, in terms of how the world is going to work 10 years from now or the returns are going to be on, uh, on equity and, and, and business, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't know what will be all the variables that impact on that. And, 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 the, and obviously, uh, right now, people are very bullish about the fact that, uh, that uh, those returns or something like those returns will, will continue. But I don't, I would not rely uh, in making such a projection on the fact that, that the Cold War has, has ended or, or really uh, uh, any any political or economic development around the world. Uh, uh, I don't know how to predict uh, future earnings of American business. And when I look at all of the great historic events of the past, nothing there gives me much in the way of a clue as to which ones uh, would signal major changes in profitability of American business. Charlie? Well, I think you raise one very interesting question. Uh, if the rest of the world becomes very much more prosperous, as it will if it adopts the free enterprise system, uh, which investments are likely to do best? I would argue that the Cokes and Gillettes and so on are likely to be helped by a great increase in prosperity in, in what is now the third world. And I'm not so sure that's true of a lot of other businesses. We, we like we like the international businesses we have, and as I say, that our three top holdings all have a major international aspect to them, and really, in aggregate, a dominant international aspect to them. And, and there's no question in my mind that a, a Coke will grow faster outside of the United States than in the United States, uh, and the same is true of Gillette, and really the same is true of American Express. Uh, so that's built into what we our evaluation of those businesses. Uh, uh, but I felt that way before 1989, too. I mean, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's very hard to evaluate how, how the ball is going to bounce, uh, generally, but it, 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 around the world. But it is a plus to have products such as Gillette has or, or, or Coke have that have demonstrated the fact that they travel extraordinarily well around the world, that people crave those products, and that they're going to... Uh, no one's going to find a way to do it better than those two companies in their respective fields. So, and they sell an inexpensive products. So, all of that's going for us. Uh, but in terms of how stocks generally sell or the profitability of American business generally is uh, in the future, I don't. It doesn't help me. If generally sell or the profitability of American business generally is uh, in the future. I don't. It doesn't help me anymore. Hi.